Treasury Secretary Paulson this week commending Communist China for its role in ensuring global economic stability, as he put it. Secretary Paulson also calling on the next president to see China as a growth opportunity for American companies. But as Bill Tucker now reports, Communist China is only increasing its unfair advantage at the expense of American workers. U.S. Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson heaped praise on China in a speech in New York Tuesday night. It is clear that China accepts its responsibility as a major world economy that will work with the United States and other partners to ensure global economic stability. But even as Paulson spoke, Communist China's leaders were busy taking action which showed the country's first priority is not the world, but itself. China raised the subsidies on more than 3,400 products that Chinese manufacturers export. Due to declining U.S. and European demands led to layoffs and plant closings in China. The action helps give the Chinese producers an even greater price advantage on top of the country's extremely low wages and lack of labor and environmental laws. Frankly, the Chinese must be laughing all the way to the bank. Paulson doesn't seem to recognize or doesn't want to recognize that the Chinese are playing a much different game than we are. July, a year ago, China cut its export subsidies to calm its trading partners who were angry about the government aid. But now the Chinese economy is slowing from 10% in the second quarter to an estimated 9% in the third. Critics of current U.S.-Chinese policy say that before we try to work it out with the world, we should take care of America first, just like China takes care of China first. The first responsibility of its government elected officials is not to have kumbaya moments with communist Chinese. It is to advance the interests of this country for the benefit of its sovereign citizenry. It is time that some people started to remember that, especially those placed in positions of responsibility. Critics like McCotter point out that while communist China was growing at 10 percent, the U.S. economy was growing at less than 3 percent. Now, the Chinese, concerned about their slowing growth, have decided to cut taxes on home buying, slash mortgage rates. And according to reports in the state-run newspaper, the China Daily Lu, a cut in the personal income tax is also under review. Well, uh, they're going to cut taxes over there because yes. their economy's down to 9% growth. <laughs> we're looking at global recession, and folks are talking about raising taxes. Ah, we're doing brilliantly here, I tell you. Bill Tucker, thank you.